welcome to my channel once again. So today I'm going to be making a male version of that dress. So I'm going to be using most of this um, pattern beast for it. And as you can see, I have one unfolding right now. This is the pattern beast of cut out for the back of the shirt for my husband. So yeah, let's get on with making this shirt. So you need to cut this unfold for the back and you need to cut the front bit, remember the neckline of the front bit has to be deeper than the back neckline. So you have to cut that, then you can also cut your interfacing bit. Yeah, so I've cut the interfacing and I've shaped to an extra bit that I'm going to use for the reverse side of the, the neckline. So you just go ahead and do that and I'll show you the next step. So guys, once you have all your bits cut, the first thing you want to do will be to make a line or rather cut out this bit this is the front bit of the shirt so what I've done right is to cut out cut um, six inches in the middle right in the middle so you need to put it on full then use the scissors and cut it down then on the right side I've gone ahead to attach both interfacing bits to the extra bits of fabric and I'm going to stitch where the pins are as you can see we're going to stitch there so this is the front bit set up to stitch then for the back I've done the same for the back and I'm going to stitch where you, you have the pins so once I'm done stitching that I'll show you what next I'll do do once you're done stitching um, both interfacing and the, the other neck the reverse side of the neck piece you want to wrap your shirt pattern piece out give it a good cut and a good clean you're gonna take your scissors and snip it I guess you know how to do the skills so it shouldn't be new to you basically you do this because you want when you reverse you turn it inside out it lies down perfectly because this is a curl so always do this for your curves it helps your curves come out fine so the next thing I'm going to do is use my iron make sure you always iron ironing is, makes your dress great so I'll flip this around grab this and I'll iron it down really iron it down flip that out Turn it out and iron it out again. So you're going to keep doing this to the other side and to the other, um, the back piece as well. So guys, the next thing you want to do is to add a flap like so. Yeah. And you've got an extra flap in there and you've got your... Um, reverse side for your neck as well with the interface in there as well so I'm going to stitch all around here and I'm going to stitch this down here with red thread I'm going to stitch all the way from here all the way down with my red thread and I'm also going to have to add a little bit of um, a design here I'm going to stitch it down as well so yeah guys um, let's get on with this once you have stitched like so, yeah. This is what you want to do, stitch it all down, get that one too, have it all stitched like so, yep. Yeah, exactly what you want. So the next thing you want to do is place right uh, fabric like right sides together. So once you have the fabric right sides together, you need to pin the shoulders and then you stitch. So I'm going to go ahead and stitch this and I'll have my husband try it on to see I have done the right thing. What I'm going to do as well, just to make sure this is clean to finish properly, um, I'm going to have another layer of fabric here, just maybe with my go-go hand stitched. I'm going to have it here just to cover these raw edges here. So guys, once you're done stitching the flat bit together, all you need to do is to place the fabric right sides together for the front bit and the back bit and uh, you need to attach 
the sleeves together and search the edges. I've done the same for here. So all I need to do now is attach my sleeve and I should be done. <laughs>